Hello everybody, Alex here from Snake on Exotics and today we're doing axolotl day. So Minecraft axolotls, everyone knows them from Minecraft now. That's why everybody's gone mad for them lately because they're one of the new animals on Minecraft, one of the games. So what we're going to do today, I need to do a little bit of siphoning. We're going to have to do siphoning with airline though because it's such a small tank. We've got to top a bunch of them up. Uh, we've got to feed them today. We're going to try and feed them on some worms and stuff like that. And then our smaller ones, we'll be feeding them on uh, bloodworm. Uh, so yeah, we'll jump on, we'll show you, we've got a, a, a dwarf one, uh, we've got the lutistics, we've got the normals, so we'll go through, we'll do the jobs on them today, and hopefully we'll have a good day. So please like, subscribe, comment, and share, ring the bell for me, let's crack on with the jobbos. <laughs> okay, so I've made myself a little tool, so I've got some airline, but what I've done, I've just, well, just a paintbrush on the end, it's just a piece of wood basically. So, because uh, if, you, if you just use this, it wants to curl back on itself all the time and you can't get it to where you want it to go. So when I'm going around siphoning, I can use this to direct exactly where I want it to go. What a lot of it is, it's dirt that comes off the worms uh, and stuff like that that's gathered up over time. So we go through, we siphon them all, make sure they're nice and clean. I won't show you all of them, but I'll do most of it. We've got to clean the glass a little bit, we then top them up, we'll then feed them some worms uh, and then we can pop on and do some other jobs as well. Okay, so what I've got, I've got my bucket, I've got my pipe. So I pops my pipe, I'll show you in different stages of actually what I'm doing. So, because if I just do this, you'll just see this moving, you won't exactly see what I'm doing. So, put that there so you can see a bit better. I put this in the tank. I then give a little bit of a suck. And we get a little bit of a flow going. We don't need much. And then I slowly go around. Grab you, come here. Ah. Hey, buddy. So we can go around, and I can sub out all these little bits with no worries of sucking the axolotl up, because that can be a problem. Because obviously they're very soft skin. Sorry, perhaps if you're looking at what I'm doing, doesn't it? They're very soft skin, so siphoning can damage their body. Oh, I've got a little bit stuck. A little bit stuck in the end. So what I'll do is I'll stop the flow. Give it a jiggle. There we go, and the end's popped up. And I can carry on doing all the siphoning. Yeah, so it's great. I mean, I've just been and served a customer and the flow's that slow. I've still got plenty of water around. No hassle, no problems. Well, there's a little bit all got around the back of the filter, so I'll reach around and get that. There we go, a little bit of plant's okay. It's not rotting or anything, so it might even start. Oh, I might get it out anyway. There we go, it's stuck in the end. Ooh. Well, I dropped it. I'll grab it in a minute. I can go around, siphon all these now. Nice and easy. Now I've got to clean the glass. Then I've got to chop them up. And then we can feed them. Well, get, we have got some empty tanks, so we will grab some of the other little axolotls and put them in. Um, some of the, they are the runts of the litter they are. They're the smallest ones, they're the slowest growing. Um, so we, we do bloodworm for them and everyone else gets worms really now because they're a good size. Um, so I'll go around, I'll put this on time lapse and you can watch me do them really quick. So I'm doing it this way because I've got very small tanks and the ax there's not much room between water and axolotl and stuff like that. For the smallest one I've got it's probably about that big, so it can fit the axolotls in if I'm not paying attention. Um, so you at home, when you've got a good sized tank for them, you haven't got to worry as much. You can make sure it's far away, siphon up the bits you want, move them back across, siphon the other half. So you haven't got to worry as much as me, I just don't have the space in there because of the temporary housing tanks. So that's why I'm doing it this way. So you don't have to worry and think, oh no, I've been siphoning with a big one and putting my animal at risk. No, 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 no. This is just because I've got very small tanks for them to grow them out in. And once they get a good size, they get their own proper fish tank anyway. Um, you see when we get the large ones, because I've got a sand tank that's sat waiting for larger axolotls. So that's what we do. So don't have to worry about nothing. It's no hassle. It's just I found this is a nice, easy way for me to do it with the smaller tanks. That I've gone through, I've siphoned all the bits out the bottom. We've got a good chunk of bits in the bottom, you can see all that big black patch. 
So I'm happy we've done a good job. So what we're gonna have to do now is fill it up. So I've got my natural Spice Valley spring water. So we're gonna top up all the tanks and we can go around and give them a feed. Uh, and then we've got the little ones to do and to decide which one's going in the tanks. Right, so we do have a 42 in there as well. So we'll top up his tank while we're here. So we're just gonna pour it in. Might loosen up some little bits that we've left behind, but we can always get them afterwards. Look at that, that'll do, lovely. Hey buddy, it's our female fighter. Moving along, we've got these two. We've got the lutistic, so they're not albino, they're lutistic, because they've got black eyes. So they're not, uh, oh, that stirred a bunch up. I might have to go back through with the siphon afterwards. I think there was some bits hiding around. So that's one bottle completely drained and that's two, three tanks down. So we're gonna need probably a good more water because we've got all them to do and they're a lot lower than these ones was. Right, let's top the rest of them up. Both, all of them I think, I might have to go buy some more for the little ones. I think we might, I don't think we're going to do it. I don't think we've still got three and a quarter left, so I'll be back. Last couple. Just got them all done. So it does mean we're gonna to have to buy more though to do the little ones in the tubs. So that is the next plan. Uh, no, sorry, feed these ones. I've already cleaned the glass, and we'll do it another little top because this one's got a little bit I missed. Not having the lights on has reduced the amount of algae, which I'm happy about. But the uh, thing is, the lights are for us. They're not for the animals. The fish and that prefer having the lights off. So once we sort out the lecking, get the lecky bill a bit down, we can sort about maybe turning all these lights back on. The thing is, because the shop's so light, you can still see all the fish and stuff like that. So I'm not too concerned about having the lights off at all. So it's better for the fish, saves me some money. Let them settle for a good while. Now we've got some wormies to feed them. And then we can select some of the biggest uh, of ones we've got left. So I've got one empty tank there, and I think one empty one there. So that's two axolotls that we can upgrade to the proper tanks. Um, so yeah, we'll choose them after we've fed them. Over this time I've got some water to wash our wormies off. So we've got a couple in there. Let's see if this one wants a wormy. Hey buddy, I got a wormy. Oh, 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 yes, yes. Lovely job, lovely job, sir. Good job, That's, he needs, he's tiny. So he needs, um, oh, he might better have that one. That one's tiny. I was gonna say bloodworm. But we're gonna see if little tiny wants an equal tiny worm. Come here, little tiny. Ooh. Oh, oh, he's got, yep, 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 little tiny, is that it? Yes! Boom, boom, boom. Okay. I'll give you another wash, another one. There we go, and we're gonna wiggle him down. Wiggle him down, wiggle him down. Hey, lovely job. Moving along, moving along, I've only got certain length arms. 
I've only got small arms. Next we've got the Dwarf Lutistic. There he is, a little bit stumpy. Please, okay, he'll do everything he should. Oh, 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 not the tweezers. It's a wormy. There we go, there you go. Oh, look at Mr. Stump. Stumpy! It's the, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> look at him go. Nah, oh, he's funny. I know we can try him on one, but I think it might be a bit big for him. Hey, bird. Oh, he shot off. Oh, oh, he's had it. He's had it. Good lad. And we got this one. Just wash the worm. Bring it down, 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 down. Oi, there we go. We're going to get them all feeding. Oh, it's going to be great, this is. Last but not least, little man. Oh, I dropped it, I dropped it, I dropped it. Oh, 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 he's got it, he's got it, he's got it. Lovely job. Happy day. All of them fed for me. I am very, very happy with that. Um, so now what I'm going to do, get rid of all this. I'm going to find the biggest one. We're going to feed them some blood worms. And then uh, we're going to put them into these tanks. Good lad. Give him a good feed before we put him on display. Okay, little one. There we go. Lovely job. Just finished doing all the axolotls, they're all over there. But I, I, I've chosen different ones that I filmed feeding actually. Uh, as I was going through, I found these two were the biggest and baddest of the uh, ones we've got left. So I'll give you a little look. No, 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 no. And. Oh. No, 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 no. So we've got a normal and a, a lutistic. These ones, they've got the plants in there and they're doing really well. Um, so, exact same water. Is in here as in, in as is as is in here, so we don't have to do anything. The temperatures the same. We just push them straight in. There we go. There's one. I can put the plant. We can put the plant in there as well. Lovely job. And then this one. We'll do the exact same, but in this slot. Da 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 da. There we go. Lovely job. They've got their food transferred into there as well. Just push the plant down. There we go. Oh, there he is. Lovely job. One more axolotls out the tubs and on display. Really, really happy now. Everyone did really well on feeding as well, which is brilliant. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 left in here. So we've still got a good bunch, plus the uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 we've got over there as well. So we're not doing too bad, still got 29 of them. So still a good bunch, but we did have 200 and something. So slowly, slowly, we'll get rid of them. We'll find them all forever, homes. There we go, that's Minecraft Axolotl Day. So just so you know, they're not just for games, they're not just a toy. They are a proper animal, they need care, they need love, they need a good sized tank and stuff like that, because they grow a good size, so it's not just, just because you send them on a game and you can just put them in a tank in the game and they live, it's different in real life. So you've got to think about that as well. Uh, so, uh, we are closed tomorrow, so there's going to be no video tomorrow, just a little update for you. Um, so please like, subscribe, comment and share. Ring the bell as well. Uh, if you want to watch a new video, there should be one there. If you want to subscribe to the channel, it's up there. If you want to watch a playlist, it's up there. If you want to support us, there's links in the description below. You can get yourself some Snake Island merch or join the tribe. So, up, see you in the future. Bye.